G'day Pisces, welcome back to TJ Terror Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as that now, let's go. Give me three cards to start with. Who's thinking about loving Pisces right now? Okay. So this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements. Or you can check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Clarify card one, please. Cross watches. This could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's. So please do keep that in mind, as you may not be the only one thinking about love and Pisces right now. Clarify card two, please. All the decks are pre-shuffled and are listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them, in case you're interested in what these decks are. Clarify card three, please. I like to get all the cards out first before I begin, so bear with me. And if something ends up being reversed, I will keep it that way. But, like, I'm not going to put that as reversed, because, yeah. If I see it, I'm not going to... I'm going to fix it, and if it's unbeknownst to me, then we'll take it, because it's meant to be. All right? Okay, yeah, I've changed my policy on the reversals. Just slightly. <laughs> All right, three more for the love energy coming in towards Pisces, please. What else can you tell us? No, yeah, yeah no. I'm not going to let these cards, I will not take reversed either. Anything with a pattern that is it can't be, like anything with a straight up pattern that's different, up, like these are the same whether they're right side up or like when you turn them around they're the same. And those cards are meant to be, yes you can read the reversals. Anything that has a way up and you know when it's upside down that you're not meant to read them as reverse. But... I will take an exception of the fact that um, yeah like I said if these cards are reversed then um, that's yeah anyway <laughs> we'll see what happens <laughs> All right, I'm just I'll just stop rambling now I think it's the energy clarify cow body road two players so I hope you're all doing well, taking care of yourselves, having a good day, a good week, and a good weekend, wherever you are and whenever you are watching this. Clarify card two in row two, please. And don't forget to do something nice for yourself, Pisces, because you deserve it. And clarify card three in row two, please. And we can begin. And I'm just, I just put the cards down how I feel they need to be put down. So I can't see what they are. So anyway, let's just begin reading. <laughs> All right, the message will come through what's meant to come through. Let's begin. Oh, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. I think this is your ex, Pisces. I think it is your ex, yep. Dreaming of happy times together. They don't want to release you. Could be crying in the rain over the happy times that you had together when they felt happy. I don't know if you did, but yeah. This long-term love, happy ever after, they thought, and the crying about it. What I'm hearing, this ex, they don't want to release, uh, so upset that you release them. Uh, yeah, <laughs> reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life. Yeah, they want to come back again, make amends. Yeah, Knight of Wands. Oh, Temperance in reverse. Three of Swords in reverse. 
Yeah, they're very passionate about coming back in here. They don't want to wait any longer to heal the damage that they've done, this heartbreak, heal this heartbreak. Could be just their heartbreak. Do they want to heal your heartbreak? Yeah, they're passionately... Mm. I'm not getting player action. I'm getting that they're just very passionate about coming in, coming back, getting you back again. I'm hearing, I want you back. I don't care what I got to do. I want you back. I think it's Banana Rama. Seeing that? Yeah. Anyway. All right, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Ooh, so they're looking at their belief systems when it comes to love. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. The lovers, yeah. Well, I guess they're reassessing themselves here in the fact that they know in order to have a loving connection here, a divine soulmate connection here, you've got to start with a stable beginning <sighs> so now they believe in starting with stability here in order to have a soulmate connection with you I'm also hearing because this can be a choice card they know that stability is the only choice if they want to have a connection with you <coughs> sorry mm, Pisces okay acceptance I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change yeah see that's good oh five of swords in the reverse oh nine of cups in the reverse and the moon in the reverse wow so accepting the things they can't change. So no more mind games, no more selfishness, no more keeping secrets. <coughs> <coughs> wow. I can't believe how many reversals I've been getting in these readings now that I'm taking them. <laughs> I think, you know, the powers that be that pull these cards... I like, hooray, we can finally get, get, <laughs> get some different messages out now. Well, you know, well, say things easier, I suppose. <sighs> yeah, and accepting the fact that they can't manipulate you anymore. They can't act selfish anymore. And they can't be keeping secrets from you. This is your card, Pisces. Yeah, because it throws you into reverse. As in... <laughs> you get in your car and you throw it in reverse and you back away from this energy that yeah if they don't want you to go the other way then um yeah they can't be doing all that anymore surrender i can release my need to control Hearing that cheap trick song, Surrender. Surrender. <laughs> anyway. Oh, look, more reversals. What's going on here? <laughs> They're like, we're going to use these. <laughs> yeah. Six of Swords in reverse. And the Knight of Swords. Wow. So this is uh, this is like nearly uh, like this is pretty much almost the slowest energy in the deck. As far as something in motion, no second slowest. The uh, the Knight of Pentacles is probably <laughs> he's at a dead standstill. So yeah, um, yeah, they they're not going to go slow here. They yeah, they're coming in fast to surrender to you
and not going to let anybody stand in their way. Oh dear. Could be some harsh truths that they need to tell you as well, but... Yeah, they're willing to surrender to you fast. They, d yeah, I can feel that, you know, the crying and the <sighs> coming in fast on this night to reconcile, coming in fast to re, to surrender. The truth is, they want to surrender. I really f quickly want this to to surrender and just, you know, waving a white flag. I surrender. I surrender. You know, let me in. Hmm. Peace. I'm a being of love and I release all negative energy. That's what they want. Peace between you two. For you to release all the negative energy that you feel towards them. For them to be able to release all the negative energy they feel towards themselves. Yeah, look at that. Queen of Swords. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, you're in Queen of Swords mode. Um, come correctly, mate, or I cut you out of my life. you got to pass this sort of truth before you get anywhere near my heart. So, you know, it's coming correctly. They they want peace because they know you've got your sword up. And you're like, yeah, come. Say what you got to say, mate. But i got my sword here. Just remember that. I'm hearing that they're, they're happy for there to be peace, even if you keep your sword up. Because they know they're not going to get back in easy. Hmm. Yeah, they don't want to wait anymore. They don't want to feel the heartbreak anymore. They don't want to be crying over the what they lost, accepting the fact that, yes, they did the wrong thing here. And they know they can't do that to you anymore. Because you're in Queen of Swords mode. Like, nope. And it's almost like, uh, it's... It's almost, ah, oh, just hang on a minute, mate. While she's beautiful, while she's gazing at this beautiful butterfly here. Like, uh, you just hold your horses here, I'm doing something. And you're quite happily just looking at this beautiful butterfly. So they can come, but, you know, you're not going to drop everything for them. They know that, that you're not dropping nothing for them. And you can, your, your sword is out and it's ready for you to defend yourself and to um, get some truth out of them if they do come. But all in your time, Pisces. When you feel ready. And they know that. All right, I love holding you. Yeah, they miss, they, they miss you. They miss, of course... Have beautiful love. You're the King and Queen of Cups energy. You have beautiful love. Of course they're going to miss you. Whereas when you hold them, it's not like anyone else when they hold, yeah, when someone holds them. All right. What would this love energy like to say to Pisces, please? No one else holds them like you do. That's what I wanted to say. Come on, what are you going to say, mate? What are you going to say to Pisces? <laughs> you can see that. Ooh, ooh. Okay. That one, and then that one, and then that one. Okay. We have, I regret letting you go. Oh, yes, definitely we can see that. Definitely we see that. Definitely regret letting you go. Please contact me. Yeah, they wish you would reach out, but I don't. If you're in Queen of Swords mode, I don't think you're reaching out to them. I love you. Mm. Well, that's what they're saying. 
but you know, look at what they did before. It's not something you do to someone you love. But yeah, this is what they want to say, and we will be together again is what they want for you two to be together again. They want reconciliation. Uh, not just to reconcile your differences, but to start a new beginning. Because mm, now they believe in stability in a connection. Well, and accepting the fact that the things they did wrong is a good sign. But yeah, still. You know, it's good for them to grow as a human being and better themselves. So that's that's a good thing. Regardless of whether you are interested in them or not. We need more people to stop doing those things. So that's good. Good on ya. Alright, so yeah. <laughs> that's your reading, Pisces. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a nice comment below. That would be awesome. And thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Yay. All right. Keep your sword up. Just keep your sword up. Because you, you want proof that this has stopped before you consider anything, really. All right. Well, all the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.